Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to cover how to create or add a new file in Visual Studio Code. And this might sound like a simple thing at first, but a lot of people are searching for this. That's probably because of what people are really searching for is how to add a new file to a project rather than just creating a new file. So here we're going to cover how to create a new file in Visual Studio Code. Now in VS Code, you can create a new text file or you can create just a new file. This really depends on the context of what you're trying to do. We're going to start with creating a new text file and on the Windows it's done by hitting Ctrl N and Command N on a Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Ctrl N. A newly created file will appear in the tabs and you'll have the option to select a language. So here, for example, I'm going to go ahead and find JavaScript and click on that and this will add a draft for creating a JavaScript file. Now VS Code will treat this as a JavaScript file and color code your comments and variables and all that stuff. At this point the file is actually not created until you save it with Control S. I'm not going to do that so I'm just going to go ahead and close it for now. Now the next keyboard shortcut for creating a new file in VS Code is Control Alt Windows N. I couldn't find an equivalent on a Mac. It probably doesn't exist, but post a comment if you know what it is. Pretty much it's the same thing. So this thing pops up and you can add a text file, but then select a language. And this time I selected the C language. And again, this time VS Code is going to treat this as a C program and color code everything as if it's a C program. One of the easiest and fastest ways of creating a new file in VS Code is by double clicking on this area over there. So again, the same dialog appears and I'm going to select the language. This time I'm going to type Python and select Python. And again, VS Code will treat this as a Python program and not just a regular new text file. Now, another way to start a new file is by actually going into the file drop down menu in the upper left corner of the editor right there and it has all the same options. So here I just created a new CSS file in VS Code. Now all these different ways of creating a new file will not actually save it yet. You have to hit Control S and this works great for stray files that you just want to create at random and save anywhere on your hard drive. VS Code has additional controls for adding new files in projects. So here I have my VS Code project open and to add a new file to your currently open VS Code project, all you have to do is click on this create new file icon in the upper left corner and then just start typing the file name. The extension of this file name will determine the type of that file. So here I created a JavaScript file. To create a CSS file, simply do the same thing and just name the file with the CSS extension. Now in the projects pane, you can do exactly the same thing by simply right clicking anywhere in the project and going to new file option. So here I'm adding a new Python file to my project. You can also create new folders that way. And here I'm adding a new settings folder to my project. You can also hit Control shift p on Windows or Command shift p on a Mac. This will open something called VS Code Command Palette. So just start typing file and at the very bottom over there you will see an option to create a new file and then create a text file. So guys, that's pretty much everything to creating new files in Visual Studio Code. There's probably other ways, but if I'm missing them, you can go ahead and post a comment on this video and let us all know.